You just heard our correspondents across the country. We will continue the conversation about Super Tuesday right here in our studio. We have Brady Quirk Garvin with the Charleston County Democratic Party. We did invite Larry Kabrowski of the Charleston GOP chair to be with us tonight. Unfortunately, he is not with us at this moment. Brady, we thank you for being here. I want to start off talking about Hillary. We've had you on set before. We've talked about this firewall in the South. If Hillary runs the tables tonight, and a lot say she could, yeah. is Bernie finished? I think, you know, Bernie Sanders has the, the money and supporters to stay in the race for a long time, mm -hmm. but I think electorally and, and numbers-wise, uh, you know, if he can't win more than, than Vermont, and even if he wins um, Massachusetts, he needs to win five or six states tonight to still be viable uh, to be the nominee. So I think if she cleans up tonight, we're, we're going to have our nominee pretty soon. Just Massachusetts and Vermont ain't going to do it. No, I mean, you know, those are two, they're great states, but right. they're not enough to really add up to the number of delegates you'd need. And Hillary Clinton has a, a strong lead with delegates already. You add in the super delegates and a big win tonight, and she's uh, almost there in terms of being our nominee. Brady, we heard her start to change her narrative just a bit on the weekend. She started talking more about Trump. Um, do you think that she is going to start going after him even more based on what some would say is his lack of experience and some may even say his temperament? Absolutely. You know, I think one of the things is Hillary Clinton pivots to the general election mode and the Republicans are still duking out their own primary. You're going to see her really hone in on Donald Trump. I mean, Donald Trump, not only his temperament, but some of his rhetoric has been just absurd. Um, you know, to have someone in 2016 not disavow the KKK is absurd. And that's something that I think she's going to really highlight because I think Donald Trump is really too radical for the vast majority of America. But Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump both have high negatives. Absolutely. So they, they both have high negatives, but I think one of the things that uh, will become more and more clear is Hillary Clinton offers serious and common sense solutions. She's talking about real policy. All Donald Trump wants to talk about is the size of Rubio's ears and who he's going to deport or detain next year. You know, people are looking for real solutions. Hillary Clinton offers that, whereas Donald Trump is just acting like a clown and is better suited for reality. You're saying that, but there are a lot of people who obviously like what he's saying, and they are certainly listening very closely and responding out at the polls. Absolutely. So I think people are responding to them, but I think particularly here in Charleston County, Donald Trump didn't win. 70% of Republicans voted for someone other than Donald Trump in Charleston. So I think what you're going to see is a lot of people who may consider themselves Republicans or moderates or independents, and they're going to break heavily for Hillary Clinton or whoever the Democratic nominee is because he's just too radical for most Americans. If we think there's a lot of mudslinging going on now, if it's Hillary versus uh, Donald Trump, it's going to be vicious. Yeah, it's going to make the primary seem like a, you know, a, a kid's party. Right? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think, you you know, if, if it's the two of them in, in the general election, I think it's going to be a really hard fought battle. But I think it's also going to be hard fought because there are serious implications to who gets in the White House, and we need to take that choice seriously. All right. Brady Quirk Harvin, we certainly appreciate your time. Always a pleasure to see you. We will, in fact, see you again later tonight That's right. as we continue to watch the numbers throughout this evening. Happy to be here. Thanks right. for having me. Thank